Hey, what's going on, guys? Ozark here, and I'm running the G11 on Hazard. And guess what, guys? I'm so tired of people in other states when I'm playing on the West Coast, they're in the East Coast, them pulling hosts and fucking just shitting all over my team, and they want to talk shit about it. You know what? Having a fast internet connection that's capable of pulling hosts is what I call gaming on steroids. And I'm so tired of coming up against people like this. I'm so tired of having a shit internet connection. And it's not my fault. Some of you are probably saying, hey, uh, let's go buy yourself a nice internet connection. No, you don't understand. I've tried to buy myself a nice internet connection. I have a crap internet connection because the fastest I can get in my area is not worth upgrading to. I can get 18 down and like two upload from ATT, AT and T Uverse, which is the biggest provider in my area. Other than that, I'm looking at Time Warner Cable, which is also 18 down, and I believe something like, like two upload. I think. You know, some of these guys out there with Verizon files are pulling 50 down, 50 plus download, and 20. 20 plus upload it's ridiculous upload is what matters when you pull host and I'm in Southern California so the other major fiber optic you know internet provider is Cox communications Cox internet you know Cox cable and they also offer you know 50 download 25 upload but they're not in my area I have no opportunity to get this ridiculous connection and it bothers me because Everybody you see on YouTube that you see posting these 100 kill games smashing on the other team is because they're on gaming steroids, a fast internet connection. I'm not hating, don't get me wrong. If I could have that fast internet connection, I would get it and I would never die. I literally would never ever die because this gameplay right here is an example of having a really good connection. I don't know who the hell was host here. But I had a really low ping connection to them. And I'm playing with one of my subscribers. His name's Unbeatable. What's up, man? Shout out to you. I told you I put this video up. And it's just me and him. We decided to do a little ground war stomping. And um, like I said, the, the connection was really good. I was on a strong four bar. And it was just a massacre. You know, I know I'm not playing against the greatest players. But, hey, I don't give a shit. You could be playing noobs all day. But if you have a crap connection, you're going to get glitch killed. So many times, it's not even going to be funny. You're just going to want to turn off your console. You're not even going to want to play Black Ops anymore. Playing on, you know, laggy three bars that lie to you. It says three bar, but it feels like one bar. I have an example of that too, by the way. The game said four bar, and I have the gameplay to show. I'm lagging like one bar, and everybody else is teleporting around the map. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, that's my little rant for today. Damn you fucking bastards with your fast internet connections. Ah, <sighs> but yeah, this uh particular gameplay, uh, I haven't really played this Annihilation map pack too much. You know, I actually when me and Unbeatable got into these lobbies, this is only probably the th like I'd say maybe the fourth time I've played Hazard, and I got you know every single game, whoever was host, every game seventy and two, seventy and three, sixty and five, and it was ridiculous. You know, I I felt like Superman. Now. Something else I've been doing, this is just to change topics a little bit. I've always been the kind of person who likes to tinker with strategies. I like to use wacky setups, and I like to come up with different ways of, of kind of improving myself. And I came up with the most ridiculous class I've ever seen. I've never seen anybody really use this too much. What it is, is my Ghost Hacker Pro Shotgun Explosive Kit. And I use the word kit to be like Wings of Redemption. You know how he likes that word. But yeah, it's my uh, shotgun explosive setup. Now, I use the Ghost Pro to kind of sneak around the map, stay undetected. I use the Hacker Pro to kind of stay away from Claymores because I like using Ghost and Ninja together. But I hate getting blown up by Claymores. So I throw the Hacker Pro on just to prevent that. And here's my setup. Olympia. Because, number one, most of the time when I get close to people... I ended up getting shit on. You know, either somebody hip firing. I hate hip firing. They need to take this hip fire bullshit out of Black Ops. You go to Modern Warfare 2, you almost never get hip fired. Um, so I run that Olympia just to give me that close quarters power. 
Then I run the RPG. I get two RPGs to help defend flags with. I throw on the C4. I get two C4s, which are super strong. You guys have been telling me all the time, Oz, try the C4, try the C4. Man, I tried that C4. I might not go back. I might start running RPGs and C4 on every single class. And, you know, if it, if it wasn't for the fact that there's so many people running the flank routes and I, I use that motion, sense, motion sensor a lot, I'd probably have C4 on every single class. But, um... Other than that, let's see, what else do I run on this? I run Warlord. And you're probably thinking, hey, Oz, you have, you know, you have a, a damn shotgun. Why do you need Warlord? Well, I use the Warlord just to get the two frag grenades because I like to spam them out. And I also, uh, I don't know if Warlord gives you extra special grenades, but the main thing is to get the two frags. Killstreak setup. I run RC car for the ghost bitch bomb. Yep. I like to run that. I like to run that RC car because... You use C4, you blow somebody up on a flag, chances are you get one or two guys. You creep around, you shotgun another guy, boom, now you have a, another bomb. So as soon as you die, you call in that RC car, BAM! Fucking destroy people. But yeah, I might even show you guys this gameplay. I mean, let me know if you want to see me use that setup. I think one of the games I got my file share, I go, was it 25 and 7? Or maybe it's 27 and 5 or something like that. But it's not a ridiculous score, but it's just a cool little gameplay. It shows what I like to do when I have fun. And it, it's I could definitely see it as a viable strategy. I ran like 10 games with it, and I held over a 3KD. I mean, if I can hold a 3KD with that, then definitely, you know, it helps playing against weak players. But definitely, it's something that actually works. So I might have to start incorporating that a little more. But um, something else I'm thinking about is... Should I start using the FAMAS again? You know what? I stopped using the FAMAS a long time ago because it's so overpowered. You know, they say they patched it. But you throw steady aim with a FAMAS red dot, I don't notice a difference at all. I mean, it looks like pre-patched FAMAS to me. And I get killed by FAMAS just the same as I would as normal. Why not use it? I feel like I'm kind of limiting myself just because I don't like the gun. Even though it is my most killed weapon with 20,000. <laughs> but I don't use it no more. So you can see these guys quitting out here in the match. It was four host migrations, by the way. I kind of cut out some of them. But, yeah, I mean, I, I may start using my M16s again. You know, I, I may start using the FAMAS. I don't really know yet. But my KD's really suffered. I'm down to like a 3.66. I was at 425 all the way through the end of 15th Prestige. And just from messing around with different wacky setups and different things I like to do and, and running in, in a big party, you know, just screwing around, you know, it's, it's kind of brightening everything down. And another thing is, a lot of people don't know is, I used to be primarily a ground war player and I've been running 6v6 a lot, but I think I'm going to start going back to ground war and get my stomp on. Final score, 71-4. and four. Peace.